we go, we're losing self-control. I keep telling myself. Hello. This is Motionology one more time. Linklist is the new operator within Expresso that we're going to be talking about. This Linklist operator is very useful, very powerful. It allows you to list a bunch of objects and then cycle through these objects through this index number that is available here in the Attributes Manager. To understand this better, imagine that we have a cloner or maybe a matrix object and then in this matrix object we're going to change the mode from grid array to object now we do have this slot which we can drag any object and then make it as a surface of these uh, matrices okay let me grab uh, maybe this uh, pyramid and now we do have these little uh, matrices along this pyramid let me grab another one maybe the uh, capsule because it's closer to us and now you can see that the matrices uh, are copied along the surface of this capsule let me change the color of these matrices so you can see them better okay you can see that now the only problem with this object slot is that we have the capability of using one object at a time now imagine that we have a bunch of objects that we want to uh, use one after another it's going to be a little bit hard and a you know a long process because we have to click and drag each time we want to change that so it's going to be a little bit difficult a little bit hard to do the link list operator will eliminate this problem just a little bit let me show you how let me drag this matrix object to the uh, uh, Expresso editor and then let me extract this object slot and now let me link it to the link list operator now we're using the objects within this link list to clone the matrices so when we go back to the link list we do have this index number which now we can cycle using it through these objects within our list so if we go to one clones are using the capsule now two the pyramid then the cylinder platonic and so on you get the idea we do have another output in the link list which is the count and uh, that count will read out how many objects you actually have within your list let me grab our result node and then connect that count now we have the number six which uh, correspond to the number of objects within that list thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one